And what it does is it, uh, it reads geospatial PDFs. So here's one that is an ortho photo of San Diego. Started as a geotiff, it was turned into a uh, PDF through our Photoshop product. So it's just right. import export, straight processing. And it's, if I go outside and hit the button, it'll put a dot down on the convention center because that's where we are. <laughs> yeah. But the same time is, I can, I have data with attributes that I can add. Uh, oops, my finger's too fat. So we have data that we can show. Um, cool. I can add a new point. So if I say there's a place I want to record, I can add a new point by just holding down my finger on the on the app. And I can add data about it. You know. So this app's pretty much optimized for iPad usage, right? Well, so, it'll work on the iPhone um, too. You just, your maps will be smaller. Yeah. <laughs> not a not a good pleasant food experience. Here. Good food here. You know, if it's yeah. a restaurant, okay, I can put the green green tag or whatever tag I want. Okay. That kind of thing, um, you know. And the thing, thing is, you don't need a, you don't need a, an internet connection to use it. It's a PDF. It's on the device. Right. So it's not like streaming with Google, where your maps are served from them. Yeah. Plus, it gives publishers, people who want to produce their own maps, whether it's for government use or some proprietary use. You know, they don't. You know, they can make their map and deliver it the way they want it to be delivered in any projection they want. Take a look at this. So I have here, there's a bunch of maps that I've got loaded already. I can take any map in any projection, even something as crazy as this heart-shaped projection of the US, I mean, of the world, rather. If I hit the Locate Me Now button, well, I won't do it because we're indoors. Oh, okay. But it'll put the dot in San Diego, even in this projection. So even though the data coming from the GPS in here is always in lat long, of course, we know the projection of the map. We can plot the point. Yeah. So any map can be delivered this way. And anybody with an iPad or an iPhone can read the maps, the geospatial PDF maps free of charge. Right? The app will be free. It's a reader app. I mean, we're yeah. selling off. So you're writing tools. out as geospatial yeah. PDF? Yeah, geospatial. Too? Not okay. the Terrago Geo PDF, but the Adobe geospatial right. PDF. Right. The There's okay. a difference there. Yeah. So, okay. um, you know, you go to a, a website like... Uh, Toronto Transit Commission, TTC website, they have their map on their website in PDF. You can download that map, but it's not referenced. So even right. though I have the map of all the subway systems in Toronto, I don't know where I am. I'm a tourist. Where the hell am I? You call yeah. up the nearest guy on the neighbor and you say, where are we? Show me on my map where I am. But this one, we referenced it. We took it off their website. We brought it into Illustrator, map publisher. Right. Then we referenced it and re-exported it as a geospatial PDF. So it looks the same, but now it's referenced. And now it runs in this app. And it's got again, intelligence. It's got intelligence, yeah. exactly. And not only can I now show my location, and it'll follow me around as I walk outside, but again, I can plot points. And I say, okay, well, here's where I'm going to go now. I'm going to go there. And then I want to go here, you know, and start recording my movements. Yeah. And I can also measure distances and all those kind of things like that. Okay. So. It makes it a viable delivery platform for, uh, for maps, electronic maps.